there. Every single team love this map. Uh, really likes to play on this map. I feel like it's uh, it's balanced enough for attackers to have lots of options here. Uh, so uh, let's see who started first last time. Hmm. Who started first last time? I think it was Grego. Grego it did Grego. last time. We are right here. Grego attacked. Okay. Yeah. Grego attacked first. So Asphyxia goes first here. I'm actually quite surprised that you can spell Asphyxia. Yeah, dude. I was a spelling bee champion. Oh, uh, mul multiple years running. What do you not do? I was I was dude. one I was one spelling bee away from Scripps Howard Nationals uh, in sixth grade. I hear it gets pretty serious. Yeah, of course it does. Competition. Yeah, you get massive scholarships that's uh, insane. for that. That's like that's like the smart version of sponsorships. <laughs> <laughs> scholarships. Yeah, yeah I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If uh, if Nike wanted to pay me to go to college, I'd still I'd still accept that. I mean, that is yeah. They, it, that's all it is is a sponsorship. Yeah. But you know, they they call it a scholarship. <laughs> just do it and then yeah. spell it. <laughs> or just do it, spell it. Oh, uh, this is not working. It really. Uh, they're gonna have to switch teams probably. Okay. Um, one more restart. We'll see if it works. But switch teams. Oh, no, we don't have to switch teams. All right. Yay. There we go. <laughs> it seems like we're good to go. All right. So, by the way, guys, if you didn't know, it's uh, the spawn color here that determines which team is attacking first. You can see it's red right now, which means Asphyxia is the red team. They'll be attacking first. GLHF. Actually, TGLHF, because I hit T twice so many times to try and type things. <laughs> uh, yeah, but DeBear's Carnage and Griffin on Asphyxia will be attacking in first. I don't know where Grego my Ego went. There he goes, and uh, in just a couple seconds we'll get started here on Collided for game number two. This is a best of three series for the round of 16, North American qualifier number three. We've got Do Not Jump versus Asphyxia. Asphyxia already up one to zero, and Do Not Jump was leading that first map for several rounds, and then just dropped the ball. They couldn't hang on to their lead. Yeah, I know. I was very surprised with that. We are going to be opening things up here with Carnage Johnson, as you're going to see the cross of rockets coming over their way. And Carnage with wow. a nice shot. We kind of missed that one, but uh, it seems as if, wow, what an amazing shot. He's able to land another one as well right in front of him. That will be on Grego as Carnage is going to make his way around, waiting for someone to cross over here. Let's see if he is going to hit him. Oh, yeah, he Whoa. will. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty simple. That was a pretty yeah. good round. He just uh, he just kind of beasted his way through that one, and we're off to a hot start with uh, Carnage Johnson getting all three of those shots. I wish I had caught that 59-yarder, uh, but uh, sometimes, you know, you can't really expect someone to make something like that. So I was just trying to show where the defensive players were kind of posting up. Nimbus taking just a roundabout uh, column jumping way to get started here, but does end up in the same place as uh, pretty much everybody else. Uh, looks like Asphyxia is posting up at pretty normal positions. Yeah, there's Carnage right around the corner. Don't want to miss that little fight. There we go. Nimbus actually taking out Carnage, getting a, an easy start. I don't know why teams are still posting up right here when they could be using that cubby for just way more cover and the same general positioning advantage as uh, as you would get from from being on the corner there uh dignitas is one team i actually saw that took a more aggressive stance but they had instead of that right side player being up forward they had the left side player moving up forward away from the cage uh so that he could flank around a little bit quicker but uh north american team still seems set on putting that forward defender. Nimbus with three armor. He's just going to gun it. Oh, takes oh. out that second defender, but it's a little too late as DeBears plants two rockets on him. Griffin gets the last one from below, and uh, looks like Asphyxia is off to a good start. DeBears attacking in now. Yep, Asphyxia looking good here. Uh, let's see if they're going to be able to follow up. DeBears going back at it again on the attacking run as... Uh he is opting to go for that right now. He's still going for the center run, what we usually see, uh, pushing up right through the gut there. So um, there's what there's see? what I was talking about. Yeah. Grego just being all the way forward could easily play right here and just duck back in there instead of being isolated. Because now if the bear sprints up here, Grego my ego doesn't really have an opportunity to he's fall doing. back. Yeah. Oh, but uh, he was able to get a hit though, so yeah. that was a win. Uh, it, it's just it's a risky move, you know what I mean? Because you're constantly exposing yourself and you always can't get blasted by that right Ooh. um that right push. But it seems like the bear's uh, 
Wait a minute, going yeah. to the left side, getting hit again, and DeBear is not a good job with his attacking run there as he gets stopped. Score is going to be 2-1. to one. Finally, they put one on the board. Grego Maego is not going to be up for the attack here. Can he make it 2-2? Two to two? The attacking runs are so important in this game because that pretty much dictates whether or not you get a victory. Um, so, uh, or at least end it at a, you know, at a reasonable time. Mm -hmm. Well, so you can go all the way to 20. Whoa, <laughs> look at the rocket juking. That was kind of crazy, actually. Uh, rockets all over him there. Yep, I'm still um, seeing that four position played once again yep kind of risky but does uh, occasionally reward the defender for playing forward so uh, we'll see if carnage is actually going to be able to plant a rocket on him or not now he's really far forward and grego missed the open shot so now Ooh. oh a second open the shot missed down. that's it's really bad sorry the rush down yeah he just that got uh, zerged to borrow from starcraft 2 terminology but uh griffin attacking now for asphyxia and his team does have a pretty comfortable lead already with that great attacking round from carnage so let's see if he's gonna be able to keep it up here in round number five uh flame hopper grego my ego and nimbus posting up at their usual positions nothing to see here really griffin could have an open shot on that middle defender that's what we saw carnage take advantage of uh earlier on now griffin looping around is gonna get the isolation oh. but cannot take that first shot cannot land it rather oh can't land the second either and now the defense basically knows they smell blood in the water he's missed a couple of shots now he's a little bit frazzled lost a point of armor he's going to loop all the way back around you can see i believe that was uh nimbus playing uh in the cage there oh flame hopper's still back at, at the far right side uh defenders trying he to find their this way guy off in the back uh, this could mind. be tough <laughs> Now he has to worry about the guy in the front. He seems like he is not going to be able to do it. It was a good try, though. He got 69% yeah. on that goal. Yeah, that was actually really close. Well, far closer than I thought it would be, especially not landing a single shot. Uh, he he yeah. actually just missed quite a lot there. You really can't um, expect to take a round like that. Uh, you need to land something, especially when you have the defender right in front of him, point blank, and missed a couple of uh, pretty easy shots. If he had picked him off and had time to loop around like that again, uh, he would have just been in such a great position to, to get Ooh. the point. Oh, look at that little wow. bit of a mix-up to Bears and Carnage hanging out at the ledge. That was nice for them. Shutting them down. Very surprising. Because I didn't take the defender's view, I was just as surprised. as like, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, de I, I hear you. I hear you. That was actually a very surprising run there as uh, now we're going to see Carnage Johnson up to bat once again. He had an amazing thing, amazing attacking run to open it up. Um, but, uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if he could replicate that same success. Finding someone over by the cages, he is going to get marked. Um, that mark there that you see that X actually pings him so that this way. Oh, nice shot by Carnage taking out Grego. Is he going to be able to take out the other guy? No, he does not. Waiting for that. Uh, waiting for the reticule to recharge. He'll laser recharge. He's going to opt to go for the catwalk. Jumping down. Missing the jump again. Wait a minute. This is not going to be a good look here for Carnage. Oh, my God. If he manages to get hit him. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe that. What happened? <laughs> wow. When you have a guy like punching you, I mean, it doesn't do any armor damage. But that you makes be able no to sense. Shoot a rocket, right? Yeah. Like, oh man. That was uh, let's good. talk to Nadio to implement a melee. Yeah, we need. We need the. That's insane. <laughs> I cannot believe that he choked on that one. That was insane. Oh, that was top five material there. That was just a uh, really, really gutsy move. Most certainly yeah. was. As, uh, write that down. I mean, we gotta, we got to do the video eventually anyway. So. Oh, yeah, that's right. We do, we do. So, uh, <laughs> so that was Carnage Johnson when the score was 4-2. to two. He can put it up to 5-2. Nimbus now, actually, everything's riding on him. He has to get a successful attacking round, or do not jump will be eliminated. I, I can't even realize, like, it's so quick, this match, uh, how quickly it turned around from do not jump's favor in that first map to now being on eliminated point this is a single elimination tournament only a best of three round here and asphyxia is just way up on do not jump carnage johnson just putting the team on his shoulders here uh to get started yeah and uh it's kind of crazy too because we didn't see much out of him in the first game right. but in uh collided he just stepped up his game insurmountably but it seems like nimbus now in a rock and a hard place and that is gonna That's be it. it as dnj do not jump is eliminated from the qualifier and asphyxia moves on to the next round to face uh whoever it is in the bracket